Hi, it's Kate creating fun, funky and fabulous advent nails in the comfort of my own home. Today I've created an ombre winter forest. Ombre because I've done an ombre background using the perfect blue at the top and white at the bottom. So because the perfect blue is a lot darker than the white, I'll only do a third of the nail in that. Um, otherwise it just ends up pulling the blue all the way to the bottom. Then using the Madame Glam um, ombre brush, just flicking it backwards and forwards, gently backwards and forwards over and over and over again. Keep cleaning that brush, removing the excess gel from it so that it doesn't end up all over the place. This is the first coat, excuse my sniffing. This is the first coat, so um, it doesn't have to be perfect. And also for me, because this is a winter scene, this is sky and snow, I also personally don't feel I need to be per it to be perfect um, in any way, in any case, because um, of the light and the, the snow and reflections and all that kind of thing. So my second coat, again, keep cleaning that brush, just removing the excess gel from it and blending between that white and that blue. If you're not happy with the blend, just keep going, like I am. Hair. <laughs> One of the problems of living in a house with cats. The amount of times I find hair. So how are your Christmas plans coming along? Are you doing any Christmas nails? Tell me about the favourite Christmas nail you've done so far. Right, so I use the perfect black and I mix that with some perfect white because my scene has got Christmas trees going from the back to the front and I want them to be varying um, shades. So lighter at the back and getting darker and darker as they get to the front. So my Christmas trees I'm just doing as rough triangles. Not thinking too hard. What do I always say about doing random things? Don't think too hard, don't overthink it. Just put it down, just put it down on the nail. I must have told the story about the uh, plumber who did our tiling and we said, we had two different colors of tile and we said, we don't want a pattern, we just want them random. And it caused him so much stress putting them on randomly and literally you just needed to put them anywhere. It really wouldn't have mattered. Okay, so I mixed a tiny bit of black in with that gray for the next layer of the trees. Between each layer, of course, I'm doing giving a full cure because it's the next layer is going on top of the previous layer. And if you go putting something on top, it does need to be cured completely underneath. So another row of little triangles. Yep. <laughs> well, I have one day not drop those. And then again, a little bit more of the perfect black mixed into the perfect white for the next row of trees. And the very last one, I made the darkest row of trees, adding a lot more black into there. It gives a feeling of depth if we do that. Because uh, things you look at further away aren't as clear to the eye, so looking lighter is, is appropriate, especially if you've got sort of a, a bit of a misty air. You know, they're going to look lighter in the mist, so. Pop that in the lamp. Now this is a nighttime scene. So I went ahead and popped a moon in. The moon is a circle or a sphere. And so to draw a crescent moon, you just draw the edge of that sphere. Then let's pop a couple of little stars. using the crystal nail zero short to pull out the gel that's already in that dot. For a nice 
sparkling star. There's some little dots around. To show the nice starry night. And then in the lamp for 30 seconds, because that's just the perfect light. And a top coat with a no wipe top. There it is. Snowy on the ground, trees fading into the distance and a clear starry night. Thank you for watching my advent video. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Take care. Bye.